Accessible Web, WCAG Manual Auditing. Success Criterion 2.4.3 Focus Order using Ramps Audit Grid and Chrome Extension. In this video, we'll cover all focus order requirements including focus into revealed content, modal trapping, and returning focus after closing modals. Let's jump in. When hidden content is revealed, such as modals or dropdowns, focus should move directly into it. Keyboard navigate the page and activate all components that reveal hidden content. Confirm that when the content is revealed, focus is moved into it. If revealed content appears but focus remains on the trigger or elsewhere, add a failure. Next, check modal dialogs to ensure they trap focus. Open each modal using keyboard navigation. Attempt to tab out of the modal to other page elements. If focus moves outside the modal without closing it, add a failure. The modal must keep focus within it until it is purposely closed. After closing exposed content, focus should return to the trigger that opened it. Using only the keyboard, open hidden content like a modal. Close the modal using its close button or escape key. Verify that focus returns to the UI component that triggered it. If focus does not return appropriately, add a failure. Finally, test general focus order across the page. Navigate through all interactive elements using tab and shift tab. Ensure focus order is logical and follows reading order, left to right, top to bottom. If focus jumps in a disordered or confusing way, add a failure. And that's it for testing 2.4.3 focus order using ramp. Logical and predictable focus order is critical for usability and accessibility. Now it's your turn. Test your site with ramp's audit grid. Try it free for 14 days using the link in the description.